This story is going to be really weird to hear, but I'm actually going to tell you guys about it. So when I first started Fiverr, which I talked about in my previous video, you can go ahead and check it out. It'll be linked in the cards. Um, but when I first started Fiverr, which is a site where you can actually sell your services for other entrepreneurs that cannot do those services themselves. For me, it's video and acting. So it's spokesperson's videos, right? So you give me, they give me a script. Um, also, my Fiverr page is linked down below if you're interested in having some of my help. But basically, you order and you give me a script. I say the script and then I deliver it to you. So there was this one client that I had and I'm not gonna give any names, but I am going to explain what he was trying to have me do because I did not understand it at all. And it was really funny, but it was crazy. So this guy wanted me to hop on one foot in a very specific way, just like a, not a weird, I mean, it was weird, but it wasn't like weird, weird, you know? But he just, he just wanted me to hop on one leg over and over again in like a really specific way. I could never get it down. I've worked with the guy again and I had to say no again, but this is the first time that I've actually had to say no to a client. And saying no honestly was the better decision because I wasn't getting it done. I also started getting lazy when none of them worked. I, I sent him, I sent this guy probably about five orders of me hopping on my foot, different varieties of me hopping on my foot. I couldn't get what he was trying to have me do. And it was just so specific and um, I'm more of a broad kind of guy. I can get the basic point and then deliver it in my own way. Um, so, but I, I can work with some things, but this was, this was just really hard to work with. So he just, he just kept saying, no man, that's not how you're supposed to hop. Yeah, you hop like this, no, hop, hop like this. And on top of the fact that I don't even understand why he's having me hop in the first place, I didn't even understand what was different. I couldn't see anything different with the pictures that he was giving me of people hopping and what I was doing. So I said, no, I didn't have to deal with him anymore. That's it. That's the end of the video. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it, I said no. I had to say no. That was something that took a lot of courage for me at that time because I wanted to work. I wanted entrepreneur work. I've, I, I've wanted to be an entrepreneur ever since about 2013, I would say. And I've always kind of wanted to run my own business or tell stories or do this or do that or whatever. The point is, I'm trying to make a living and I want to make a living doing something that I'm passionate about. And it's actually going really well. And part of the reason why it's going really well is because I learned to say no. I said no to this guy um, and he said, all right, well, respectfully, yeah, we'll find someone else. That's the truth about it. Saying no is not a big deal and it can help if, if, if you are not able to do what they're trying to get you to do. It's okay to say no. And usually it's a really healthy practice. So anyways, that's just a little story for you guys. I want to give you some encouragement because I said no to one client and I have still had clients after that. It's okay. Um, one order is one order, okay? And yes, you want to definitely put quality into the orders that you can do, but if you can't do it, if it's outside of your skill set, or if it's just a really difficult customer or whatever, which this guy was not a difficult customer, but he, he just needed something very specific that I couldn't do, so I said no. Later on, he re-approached me uh, in, through a new Fiverr page, and uh, he was asking me kind of this, the same kind of order, and I said, look, man, I can't do it for you. And that's what I had to do. And it's okay. It's all right. You don't have to get everything right all the time. So that's all I have to say for this video. Um, go ahead and check out my Patreon. I have a new Patreon account. And if you do follow me on there, uh, subscribe for one of the tiers. Um, it's, I think it starts at $1 a month and uh, you will basically get a bunch of exclusive content. You'll get to see what I'm working on currently. I'll make posts all the time once this starts running and once people are actually subscribed and stuff to the Patreon. But most of all, you'll get to see stuff in advance, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, you're gonna get to see a lot more of me if you go ahead and check out my Patreon account and there may even be vlogs coming there soon. So thank you guys for watching. With that said, go ahead and check out my, fi my Fiverr page, Patreon page, Owen Co. Studios, which is my media company, film production company, music video company, all this kind of media. It's a media company, entertainment. Um, and uh, subscribe to this channel if you're new. Uh, I really want to help people out. I'm trying to do self-help videos and help people with their businesses. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Do deuces. That means that means poop. <laughs>